Well, congratulations on your win today. How are you feeling uh, right now on uh, Hard True right now? Are you feeling playing? I mean, I feel good. I, I, I think I started to play really well after the hard lockdown in Melbourne. It was a little bit, uh, you know, not stable and tough, tough. But now I think I'm, I'm in shape and I play really good here. What do you think is the hardest part about transitioning to this kind of surface, especially after Melbourne? Um, what's the hardest part about playing on this surface compared to hard? I mean, it's not about the surface because after hard lockdown, I feel really pr problem with my shoulder, with my knee and also hamstring. It's mentally, it's okay. Tennis part, it's okay. But physical part, it's really tough. And I really work and hard, but it's not very fast. But it's taken a really long time. Mm -hmm. But now I'm really happy. I'm in the good mood and the physical mood. It starts getting better. And I think I'm, uh, I feel it's now a better time. Good. I, and that's good to hear because uh, going through a lot of injuries, I feel like you have to mentally stay very strong. And how are you able to stay mentally positive throughout all these injuries? Uh, but of course, uh, you need to stay positive. You, if you will be negative, it's more worse. Your tennis part is getting worse. If you're not really positive, yeah, it will be very bad. But I think everybody needs to stay like positive. You, if you are not positive, it's like you go down. <laughs> of course, that's the whole point about staying positive. In terms of you off the court, there's been a lot of Russians coming up in the WTA rankings. You, Kalinskaya, Samsonova. What do you think the key is for the current Russian kind of tennis uh, environment? Because first it was Sharapova, and now it's you guys, Kuznetsova. There's so many. What do you think the key is uh, for your success for your country? I, I mean, uh, for all the Russian girl where the hard working, and I think it's it was the key because if you work hard, you deserve to play well and you go up. Yeah, Sharapova, she is the finish, but now I think it's getting change where new generation and we try to like really good to represent our country and just fight and show ourselves. Mm -hmm. And do you, and who did you look up to the most when you were first coming onto the tour? Was there someone in particular that you tried to model your uh, game after? Uh, w when I was young, I was really like Sharapova, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was my idol and then, yeah. Was there anyone else that influenced your game that you think you grew up with? Um, no, I think she is the only one, yeah. I mean... I really like her when she was playing. I always watch her, like her mental part and tennis part. I think she's, I'm the similar, a little bit similar of her. Well, that's good because uh, have you met her yet? Have you been able to like get any advice from her about your game? Uh, no, no. When I was young, when I was like 15 or 16, I meet with her just only like, you know, to take some picture, to speak, but not about the game, just like fun speak. Of course. Um, for you growing up as well, like what would you say that you wanted your uh, goal to be in tennis? Because after uh, Kvitova spoke yesterday, a lot of people were just happy to be on the pro tour. What is your goal in tennis? I mean, I think every everyone who play tennis, we always want to be world number one. Mm -hmm. We want to how many puts, uh, like win Grand Slam. But for me, it's also important, you know, to show my per personality and like fight and be happy on the court. Like it's, I think it's the goal to 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 enjoy my life on the court. Do you think it's hard for people to do that on the tour? Because it's especially during now with COVID. Yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it's not easy, but it's possible. Of course, everything is tough, but we can do it. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you one more question before you go. When you go off the court to kind of take your mind off of the game to make you less stressed, to make you more relaxed, what's one thing yeah, that you yeah. to do? Uh, yeah, I like to read the books. Like oh, it's really, really calming, yeah. Okay. I also like to to watch, like you know, in this in Instagram, how how people they cook the food. Oh, I mean, good. I think it's my hobby to cook. When I was in home, I always cook. If I have time, I cook, cook, cook everything. Wow. Like, yeah, because I really like it. I enjoy. It. 
what's your favorite dish to cook? Uh, I like to cook, you know, if I cook dessert, it's like uh, it's Russian cake, honey cake. I really like it. It's not very sweet, but it's good. And I also like to cook um, like chicken with garlic and wow. like potato stuff with garlic, cheese and onion. Oh my God, that sounds really good. <laughs> Did your mom teach you how to do that? Or was that you taught yourself from Instagram? No, I taught myself. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Well, yeah. I, hopefully I get to try it sometime. But thank you again <laughs> for joining me today, Veronica. I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.